That is not feeling good right now. So, uh... Hopefully you've got some drinks in hand, because this could get messy. Alcoholism is not the answer, children. Don't go to booze to make up for your bad feelings. I'm promising. Just use tequila for birdies. Gaming. Well, welcome back to all the Strat fans that are still out there and are showing me some kindness by returning after the horrible first round that was Marion East. We are now here for round two, and I'm just going to jump into it because I would like to finish this tournament as quickly as possible. There is not much wind at all. And I hit the fairway this time. I kind of just want to stop now, so at least I can say this was better than the first round. Let's go. Sandwich. A bit long, but I don't mind. Now I kind of mind. Didn't really think it was going to look like this. Um, so let's go way the heck up here. Oh, that would have been a cute start. Really just burned that edge, but I guess we should be happy with the par. And now we are back into hole two with a narrow fairway. Fairway here. That I hit much better that time. We're going to go driver off the deck here because I have nothing to lose. This is going to end well, folks. That about makes sense. Well, I don't know what I expected, but that did not surprise me at all. I don't know where it's going to go. Oh, that might be pretty good, actually. Well, golly. We leave ourselves a very manageable... I can't talk. I was so surprised by that shot. Somebody might need to check on me because I may have just had a mild stroke. All I meant to say was we were left with a very manageable birdie putt, but it came out like jumbled garbage. And now we're left with this three wood into this tricky par three. three. All right, don't go too far. Oh, it's riding this ridge back. Oh, that's just amazing. Oh, wow. Thanks. And that's for birdie. That is a tap in birdie. That was pretty solid, and I almost hold out. It's in the fairway. I can at least take a little bit of joy in the fact that my swing tempo has been better than round one. And it may be because I charged my controller. If round one was a debacle simply because of battery life, I'm going to be pissed. But there's nothing we can do except try to attack this hole with a pit shot. That'll do. I'm actually hitting some greens, so that's comforting. I don't know if I hit that hard enough. Oh, just barely. Oh, that was close. That's three birdies in a row. I might have to watch this when I upload it and drink my tequila after each one. Oh, really pulled that, but I stayed in the fairway. Have to adjust to the right here because of that slope. This is going to be tricky. That was a good hop. I think I had the right club if I would have swung it properly. And now this is going to be a tricky downhill chip. I'm not actually going to chip this. I'm going to try to flop it close. Because I do not want it to go too far past this hole. It's pretty decent touch if it rolls a little bit further. Mm. Not bad. It gives me the chance to save the par here. And I burn the edge. That didn't move at all. So that sucks. It was definitely supposed to break in towards the hole. Well. 
So be it. We're gonna try a five iron. See if we can get it up that hill. Very fast swing, doesn't matter. Oh, oh look out! Too good. Four! I... Okay, whatever. I'm tired of trying to justify these things now. I'm just trying to survive them. That went way further than I thought it would. The batty way. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Let's give those right back. Bogey, bogey. Oh, I hit that pretty hard. Oh, okay, I saved a par, though. All right. Better swing. Let that bomb down there and stay in the corner. Just put a touch of backspin on it to try and check up a little there. And that's not bad. I would have liked it to go a bit further before it checked up. And I don't know what to do with this putt. I'm going to play it right edge. I don't know. Mm, just inside right edge. Moving, moving. All right. A three under through seven is really what I wish I would have been doing in round one. But it's better now than never. Just put a three wood safely out into the fairway. I'm going to try and get cute here. I don't know if this pitching wedge is going to be enough to make it. Oh, it definitely is. All right. Not ideal. I thought it was actually going to go a bit higher in the air when it pitched out, but that's fine. And see if we can get it in towards the hole. Curl in. Oh, yes. Batty's left door. I don't remember when the left door became Batty's favorite. But it's been a real treat getting to know it. There it is. I'll take it. We can just nestle this thing down there for a par. That'll be pretty solid. Hold up there, you. Don't go too far. Chance at the par. If I miss this, I need to find an open bar. But I made it, so it's okay. Alcoholism is not the answer, children. Don't go to booze to make up for your bad feelings. Promising. Just use tequila for birdies. Get up. Get up. Oh, yes. Just held on. I didn't want it to come back down that ridge because it would move quickly. Put a solid putt. Right in the heart. And what are we doing with this birdie fest right now? We're five under through ten. This is a tale of two rounds. And I don't know how to process it. I'm pretty good. I am now hitting pure strikes. Here. It's mind boggling. Very slow. Yuck. Bye. Anytime Batty makes note of how he's playing, it will go the opposite direction. This is going to be an awful, awful score. I've got to try to flop it out with this pitching wedge. Just to try and get over this bunker. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. What a shot. I can't believe that was a par save. I'll take it after that horrible approach. So we just keep moving along here with a pretty good score in this bizarre round two. We have a pretty steep slope here that is going to kick it hard to the right. So I need to aim out left towards this bunker. Taking a shot. No Pulled it. Oh, that's a tough spot to putt from now. And try and put this close and keep it up on that level near the hole. Very big swing there. But a manageable par putt. That we missed. Ah, this round is going all over the place. All over the place. Let's pause for a second and take a look at this scorecard so far. Par. Birdie, 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 bogey. Par. 
Birdie birdie par. Birdie par bogey. What is happening? That's a good tee shot. And let's see if we can put up another color on that scorecard. Hopefully yellow. Oh, just off. That's a par. And we have five holes to go. Back in the fairway. This is a very tricky par four. As I have to go way back on the green here. Look at all those ridges. I definitely want to get over them. And that's a great shot. Heck yeah. Hello, my name is the Stratman. And that is a tap-in birdie. I love tap-in birdies. I've probably talked about tap-in birdies more than anything. Like, we'll have some fairway. Tap-in birdies, left doors, tequila and fast swings. As we have this eight iron, Uphill into a little bit of a wind. Here's an eight. Very weird swing path on that one. But we kept it up on the green for a birdie putt. Not a tap in birdie, but let's see if we can make ourselves a distance birdie. Oh, it was a very good line. Bit more pace, and it might have actually been in. But we'll take the par. Three holes to go. Does it hold the fairway? Yes. Not a ton of movement. Does it move back at the end? Oh, it did, but I didn't put it far enough out. Very close to making a nice birdie. But we take the par. If you want to see a tricky looking green, take a look at this puppy. Wow. If you are on the low level, you're kind of screwed. If you go too high, it could potentially move towards the bunker. There's a very delicate landing spot here. I'm going to try to aim towards the bunker, put a bit of a fade onto this thing. And add some loft. And let's see if we can get it to stay on that middle level. It's up. It's moving in the direction I want it to. Oh, did I take too much loft? Oh, I did. Probably where it hit was too short. It was so close to being absolutely beautiful. Now this is going to be a difficult chip that I have to essentially hit the ridge and hope it still hops up. Hit, hold. Oh, tough. Bit of a tricky downhill putt here for par, as it is one of those ones that moves in both directions. It's a matter of how much. Okay, that actually wasn't so bad. Overthought that. I really would have loved if that tee shot had gone one foot further, and I think it would have hopped on that middle ledge. But we've made it to the 18th hole, and it was not as awful into the as round one was for us. It looks like it's going to probably kick hard left when I hit it, so I've aimed a bit right, even though the wind is blowing right. So it didn't really do that. But it's on the green. And it moved right around the back of the hole. Let's try and sink this and go into my off weekend on a high. Oh, kind of ironic that I wanted to go into the weekend on a high, but the ball missed the hole low. And tapping it into ah, well. The round with a okay, that's more like it. Minus five. This is closer to what I was expecting to score in the first round. I thought if I could go minus five, minus five, I'd be in a pretty good spot in terms of competitive nature in my flight. Obviously, I'm going to be right at the bottom of it because of that horrible round one. But we did what Batty does. We didn't cave. We got our anger out. 
we came back with mildly recharged batteries and put together a pretty solid round. Not exceptional, but certainly not awful. So I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Bat is going to be back at tournament play in Season 2 of the Run Good Tour starting on Monday. Whatever you get up to this weekend, I hope that you just stay batty. And obviously, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button, would ya? It takes no effort. And then hit like. Subscribe and like. Boom.